Hello and welcome. So in this particular tutorial, we'll be uh, looking at uh, uh, how we can build uh, electric circuits on LT spice and simulate them. So uh, this particular series of tutorials will be about learning uh, AC circuit analysis on LT spice. So this particular tutorial is the basic introduction to LT spice. Will be where we'll be building a, a basic uh circuit so let's begin so now once you click on new schematic button from file tab you just uh you've now got this space where you can build your circuit um so as you as uh, you clicked on the new schematic button you can you you saw these symbols coming to life um so you can just see what each of these symbol is about by just uh bringing the mouse on that symbol uh, so this one is this symbol is about uh, diode so if you need to add diode into your circuit you, you you just need to press on the symbol and if you need to add inductor you can do that using this symbols and then capacitor using this symbols and resistor using this symbols and so on so let's build a simple circuit so for for components which are not visible here you can just go to this uh, component button so once you click on this you will see a library of uh, various components so um so if you need to find a particular uh, component suppose voltage component which is not visible here so just click the right voltage and uh, and so you will you will see this voltage component uh, being selected here so you, so click okay so now you see this voltage uh, component button stick to your mouse um so so now you need to paste it somewhere so just go to that place where you want to paste it suppose you want to paste it um, say here so just go to this uh, place and um uh, and, and left click and press the left left click button of the mouse uh, so as you can see this uh, um, voltage component is now uh, uh, is now available in your uh, circuits space so if you need another instance of this uh, uh, voltage button you can just go to that the point where you need another instance and then again press the left click button uh, and you can do the same for third instance if you need it right so so now if you have placed all the instances all the required instances uh, you can now uh, press the left right click button of the mouse and you will get rid of this symbol so since we do not need these two instances this this uh, it was just to show you how you can add different instances of same uh, component so we need to delete these two so the, there are two basic two ways uh, so one is just go to this uh, uh, cut button on the tools bar uh, which is basically the symbols shown using the uh, a symbol of a scissor just press it and just bring it on the component um, and then press the left click button so as you can see now this symbol is deleted the other way is is by going to this drag button selecting the component and press delete button on your keyboard right so i don't know what's the deal so you can just okay i don't think this is working but uh we can go back and do this uh do it by this scissors button right uh it was it was supposed to work okay it may work, it may work in some cases in some of the softwares and maybe in the latest versions it is not uh, not this option is not available right so now you need to add another component so so let's select this resistor so we add it here and let we we also need another instance of this resistor so we um add it here right and now we uh, click the uh, right click button to get rid of the symbol so as you can see this if, if i need to make a circuit this needs to be rotated so we can rotate it by just clicking uh, on by just uh, going to this drag option so now once i press this my mouse will become 
will be able to select components. So now I pressed it. And now once I click on this component, I have selected this component. So now I can rotate it. So this is the uh, mirror option. So I can mirror my component using this option. And this is the rotate option. And this rotates in, as you can see, uh, the arrow symbol, this is rotates in clockwise direction. So you can just rotate it. But as you can see now, the names would be flipped. So you need to rotate it again and again. So now it is in the right uh, shape. You just click it here, press it here. So now you have uh, placed all the symbols. Um, in fact, we need one more symbol that is the ground symbol. You, your circuits always need a ground. So once you are done, you can just um, now connect these components using the wire. So once you click, so this this particular uh, symbol is the wire symbol. As you can see, this is the symbol of a pen. So once you click it, you will see this uh, cursor, which is basically the intersection of two uh, lines, a, a vertical line and a horizontal line. So you go on uh, on a terminal of the component you want to connect with another uh, terminal. So just go there and uh, press left click button of the mouse and now you see this wire is connected to this particular component of voltage source and now you need to uh, uh, switch directions you need to add a joint here so you so to add a joint in a wire you just press you go to the point where you want to add the uh, joint and then press the left click button so as you can see from here we want so here is the this is the point where we want to add joint because we want to uh, move in a 90 degrees direction from here so i've just added the joint and i'm now moving perpendicular to this line uh, which is 90 degrees uh, joint uh, sorry 90 degrees from the the, the previous line so um, now again you can you press the left click button of your mouse and by left clicking, you you can connect these. You have connected these two terminals um, of two different components, and you can do the same here. Just left click here, and now you need to add a joint. Again, left click, and now again left click. So these two are connected. Here you need to just connect these two, uh, and now you need to go here. Uh, so add a joint and by adding a joint you are able to move in perpendicular direction um, and now you just add another joint here and now your circuit is complete so um, so now we can add values to these components so we can add these values to these components by uh, just right clicking on the component so once you right click on a certain component you can will see this window that uh, different components this window can be different uh, so you, in this in resistors case you will see this window where uh, let's say this uh, just add a value let's say this this is a 1k resistor 1000 ohm resistor so just add 1k here uh, so this k capital k or small k means uh, 10 raised to power 3 Okay, so this is done. Again, right click here on this resistor. You will see the same window again. Uh, so it, let's say this is 500 ohms. So just add 500 here. And so you have added values to these two resistors. And this is uh, your voltage source. So since this is just an introductory um, tutorial, so let's add, uh, let's say this is a DC circuit. So let's add, add a DC value. In the upcoming tutorials will be talking about uh, AC circuits. So we'll be using this advanced option where you can add certain different type of circuits. But since we are not doing that, so just cancel um, and press OK. So as you can see, this is the, the, the this 10 unit of this 10 is volt. So this so once you write 10 here, it means you basically made this so, source a, a 10 volt voltage source. Okay, so now we need to simulate it. So in order to simulate it, you just go to the simulate 
uh, tab and click run button you can also see this run button on the tools bar as well so you can do it, uh, you can click it from here as well uh, so since in this case we only have a dc circuit so we, we do so uh, we need to uh, click on this dc uh, operation point um, and then click ok and so maybe it, it is taking some time but soon we'll see the results so as you can see um, so these are the the currents and voltages at different nodes since we have not specified names using the label symbol here uh, so it has given um, a, its symbol names uh, node names itself n001 is this node i think and n002 is this node here right um, and these are the currents um, so now let's let's see how what happens when we uh, uh, mirror this particular circuit element so it, this is quite interesting to note so once we select this resistor and mirror it and then connect it again here as you can see if, if i just take it here you can see the mirrored version with this particular uh, uh, the the connections of uh, uh, resistors are now as you can see are in, 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 intertangled and once you bring it here it, it untangles it, it uh, itself so now this resistor is mirrored and now let's see what uh, this mirror option does to the dc analysis so let's click on the run button again and uh, hopefully we'll see, be able to see the result soon here you are so now previously this current which was from current through R2 was positive and now as you can see the current is negative so this is important to note that once you mirror a circuit element the current through the direction of current uh, from that circuit element will be uh, reversed right that is because previously originally this circuit element was connected uh, the this terminal was connected to this circuit element and this terminal was connected to this circuit element this one so uh, by mirroring um, uh, though uh, once you mirror this uh, resistor the LT spice memorizes that this uh, since this resistor was originally in a different shape and it was mirrored so it uh, it, it itself assigns this negative signs to assigned to the uh, resistor so if uh, in, in in your case it may not be true uh, so you need to just know that this this uh, negative is because of the mirror operation and this is not the actual uh, this may not be the actual sign of the current right so this is important to note so this concludes our first tutorial thank you very much